Tak, doufám, že hraje i ta hra. Kově, co se tady se na to chce podívat, ne? Ty vrtuly. Zase nejdu slyšet, nebo co? My name is Richard Elmstad, and I used to call this city home. If you live here long enough, the stench of this city seeps into your skin. You have to get out. I lived here long enough, and then some. Long enough to get to know the people at the top. The politicians who line their pockets while the city decays. The vultures who take what they want while the rest of us go hungry. I'm a painter. I don't make much off my work, but I get by. I come from a long line of politicians, but I never wanted any part of that life. I traded the mansion on the hills for the life of a starving artist the first chance I got. I never regretted it. All the city reporters used to know my name. Some of them knew me for my work. Most knew me for my father. Carl Elmstadt, my father was the leader of the beloved Cosmopolitan Party. And this past year, he ran for mayor. He was running against Edward Raban, an old rival of his, and pledged to change the way City Hall did business. He was a natural leader and an honest man. He saw the city not for what it was, but for what it could be. Politics was more than a job for my father. It was his calling. He never took a vacation and always showed up at town halls, for better or worse. The people adored him. Even when he failed, they knew he was fighting for them. He was fighting to take the city back, and the vultures at the top weren't going to let him. The night it happened was nothing special. He was working from home, as he often did. That night was his last. A cold-blooded armed robber broke in and shot him. The killer stole everything he could and left my father bleeding on the floor. My father was a noble man. He deserved better. When I was a kid, my father never had time for me. When I got older, 
I decided I didn't have time for him. Now I'm burying him. And I wish I could go back. I wish I could talk to him one more time. I'd tell him that I admired his courage. That I loved him. And always did. This was no random crime. It was calculated. Planned. I'm sure of it. After the election, my father made enemies. And that night, one of them struck back. In my bones, I know that Edward Raban is responsible for this atrocity. I have to prove it. I don't have many friends in this city. But if there's one person who can help me at a time like this, it's Judy. I only hope she'll take my call. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Patricia. I really missed you. Hi, Dad. How was your trip? I hope you weren't bored. It's a long way from home. <laughs> what do you think? I was just staring out the window contemplating life? It's the 21st century, Dad. I have to find out what happened to my father. Yeah, to se to bylo to, ja. Božičko. My name is Richard Elmstad, and I used to call this city home. If you live here long enough, the stench of this city seeps into your skin, and you have to get out. I lived here long enough, and then some. Long enough to get to know the people at the top, the politicians who line their pockets while the city decays, the vultures who take what they want while the rest of us go hungry. I'm a painter. I don't make much off my work. But I get by. I come from a long line of politicians, but I never wanted any part of that life. I traded the mansion on the hills for the life of a starving artist the first chance I got. I never regretted it. All the city reporters used to know my name. Some of them knew me for my work. Most knew me for my father. Carl Elmstadt, my father, was the leader of the beloved Cosmopolitan Party. And this past year, he ran for mayor. He was running against Edward Raban, an old rival of his, and pledged to change the way City Hall did business. He was a natural leader and an honest man. He saw the city not for what it was, but for what it could be. Politics was more than a job for my father. It was his calling. He never took a vacation and always showed up at town halls. For better or worse. The people adored him. Even when he failed, they knew he was fighting for them. He was fighting to take the city back. And the vultures at the top weren't going to let him. The night it happened was nothing special. He was working from home, as he often did. That night was his last. A cold-blooded armed robber broke in and shot him. The killer stole everything he could and left my father bleeding on the floor. My father was a noble man. He deserved better. When I was a kid, my father never had time for me. When I got older, I decided I didn't have time for him. Now I'm burying him, and I wish I could go back. I wish I could talk to him one more time. I'd tell him that I admired his courage that I loved him, 
and always did. This was no random crime. It was calculated, planned. I'm sure of it. After the election, my father made enemies. And that night, one of them struck back. In my bones, I know that Edward Raban is responsible for this atrocity. But I have to prove it. I don't have many friends in the city. But if there's one person who can help me at a time like this, it's Judy. I only hope she'll take my call. Hello, Patricia. I really missed you. Hi, Dad. How was your trip? I hope you weren't bored. It's a long way from home. What do you think? I was just staring out the window contemplating life? It's the 21st century, Dad. I have my phone. Can we just skip the lame small talk? Well, somebody's a bit cranky from the trip. Why don't you just relax a bit? We'll talk later. Can't wait. I have to find out what happened to my father. I know I haven't spoken to Judy in more than six years, but I need her help. I should call her as soon as possible. Tak, já akorát skočím vlevo, teda vpravo, protože vlevo budou vlevo budou nikoli postav, co mluví. Tak to byl úvod do hry Metafobia, které vydalo zdarma ke stažení mimo Steam a mimo všechny tady ty chujovinky, co se teď vymýšlí studio Mosaic Games a mají to na GitHubu nebo v něčem takovém na nějaké té verzovací verzovací stránce to mají volně ke stažení a sami o tom říkají, že to je teda adventura v devadesátkovém stylu <laughs> no grafika by tomu možná odpovídala no a dozvěděli jsme se teda, že můj otec po tom, co se stal starostou tak ho zabili potom při večerní práci počítače a já jsem si teda, nebo tady Richard si je jistý, že za to může ten oponent politický, jo? A je teda potřeba to vypátrat. A jediný, nebo ne jediný, první, kdo nám může pomoct je Judy. To je sekretářka, té se brzy dostaneme, ale je potřeba ji nejdřív zavolat. Tak, to je štelování, jasné. Pobíráme první. Jasné, mám prachy. Some hard-earned U.S. dollars. Not much, but enough for me. Však stačí. A Judy. Patricia alebo Judy. Ale ja chci ešte položiť telefón. Tady sa neoznačujú veci, na ktoré môžu kliknúť. Ešte sa šedne šipka. No, spíš ešte... Aha, takže sa dá kliknúť úplne na všechno, jo? Dobré, no. Tak jo, tak třeba stoleček, co mi řekneš ke stoličku? My paintbrush. I'll take it. O, dobré. I don't need to touch that. Žádný koš, OK, nůžky. This place is a mess. I better clean it up. I'll start with these scissors. Tohle, jestli jsou to nůžky. To není nic. I'll just leave it there. What if she comes back? I'll leave that where it is. Tam nechám skřínička. My knife. I've been looking for this for weeks. I wonder why it's in here. Was all this all? Yeah. Bez obalu do kapsy. Štěteček, uštičky. No time for jazz. Žádný čas. Tak co cerka? Do you have a moment, sweetheart? No. What is it? How is my sweetest angel? How should I know? Ask one of your girlfriends. Come on, Patty. Really? What do you want me to say? We haven't seen each other in months. I really missed you. Oh boy, here we go again. Yes, Dad, I love you too. Do we have to do this every five minutes? When did you become so sarcastic? I don't know, this morning. 
Never mind. Co ve škole? How is school? Klasika, Can we please skip the how is school and gee what nice weather we're having conversations? Just asking. School is fine. Pohodě, jasně. Škola, pohodě. Tak. How you holding up, honey? I mean, with Grandpa. It's still hard to believe. I can't wrap my mind around it. How can anyone be so evil? I ask myself that question every day. I miss him so much. Me too. Are you still interested in art? Or are you totally obsessed with boys now? Are you making fun of me? Trying to make a joke. Of course I'm still interested in art, Dad. What are you working on? Still painting? Sculpting? What? I'm not in the mood for this right now. Come on. We used to always talk about art. It was fun, wasn't it? It was. I just don't feel like talking about it right now. Okay, geez. Fine. Geez. No, na matku se ptát nebudu. That's it for now. Tak jo, zdarec. Okay. To je sám zrovnost. Základní pravidlo každé věci je prokecnout. How is your mother? Oh, now you care? After ten years? Patty, stop. I just want... She's fine. She's got a new boyfriend. He's okay, but he's bald. So? <laughs> Why would anyone date a bald guy when they can date a guy with hair? Don't be so shallow. Just being realistic, Dad. You should try it. I am. I just don't judge people based on their looks. Maybe one day you'll go bald. Then what would you say? Yeah, right. That's it for now. Okay. Dozvěděli jsme se to, že to je malá pubertácká mrcha. Obrazy, obrazy, obrazy. I don't need anything in there. Nic. I'm not hungry. Nic. I don't need anything. Nic, 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 nic. I, al I already took a shower today. Dobré, a víno mě zrovna teď nezajímá. Tak asi všechno, ne? Skřínka. I don't want to change my clothes. Dobré, takže to je jasné. Je na čase zavolat Judith. Why should I call her when she's here? No, yes, let's. Oh, your shipachko. Oh, it's just a bitch. Judy. Cassidy? Hello, Judy. It's me, Richard. It's been a while. Wow, the great Richard Elmsta has decided to grace me with a phone call. Listen, Judy, I know you're upset with me, but I really need to talk to you. Talk about what? About my father's death. I need your help. <laughs> Sorry to be blunt, Richard, but I haven't heard from you in six years. Now you want me to comfort you and tell you everything's gonna be all right? Uh... No, it's not like that. I'll explain everything. <laughs> Go ahead then, explain. Not now. Can we meet in private? Fine. Come to my place. Thanks. Oh, tak podle toho, co jsem se díval, tak to spíš vypadalo, že ta paní je sekretářka. Než že by to byla nějaká stará známá, co sedí v sebe ve obyváku. Uh, father's office. Ne, tak jedeme k Judy. No, to je jasná kancelář, jako. Hi, Judy. Hey Judy. If it isn't the famous painter Richard Elmstadt. Please, Judy. Not now. I need your help. Must be pretty damn important for you to come crawling back to me. Come on, Jude. Stop it. I know it's been a long time, but I can't change that now. And well, it's good to see you. I missed you. Yeah, right. If you missed me, you would have called. Judy, please. I really am sorry. Look, if it makes you feel better, you weren't the only one. I haven't spoken to anyone. Why? Why would you do that? What did we do to you? I can't explain what happened. And 
needed to leave. Whatever. So, what do you want? Jako před šesti lety jsi tady na zmize, s nikým se nebavil a teď se mají všichni nasraní. A teď se vrátil k tomuto. Tak co, uh, omluvíme Judy, se. Judy, I can't apologize enough for what I did. I didn't want to leave you. I just couldn't be here anymore. You could have said something. You could have called. You just disappeared. I know. I was going through a difficult time. Don't act like the victim, Richard. We all thought you lost your mind. We thought you were... I know. Please forgive me. I wish I could go back and change it. But you can't. Well, nice to have you back, I guess. You look good. Thanks. You too. So, how have you been all these years? Eh, same crap, different toilet. But hey, I'm alive. I'm retired from the force, but man, do I miss it. I'm so bored, it hurts. Maybe I can help with that. Here we go. Guy drops off the face of the earth and shows up at my doorstep saying he can save me. No, thank you. Come on. Don't be like that. I said I was sorry. I bet you're sorry. You know, you lost a good thing. I know Patricia was never crazy about me, but you were. What's done is done. Psh, yeah, whatever. No, teď teda konečně se mám odvahu zeptat, jestli mi teda help ne. Tak co? I'm here because I need your help. What a surprise. I know you're not on the force anymore, but can you still track down anybody under the sun? You still got the system up and running? Yeah, I still got it. You're the only one who can help me. So, spit it out. Who are we looking for? Edward Raban. To je ten oponent toho jeho otce v té politické té. I'm sure you heard about my father. Of course. I'm so sorry. I need your help. I think Raban was behind it. Jesus, Richard. That is a bold accusation. You know he's the mayor, right? Exactly. He's the mayor now, since my father died. Mm -hmm. I never took you to be the conspiracy theory type. I know it may seem suspicious to you, but you can't just go around accusing people of murder. Besides, they already caught the killer. I know. That's why I want to find out what really happened. On my own. Well, with your help. Sorry, Richard. It just sounds a little far-fetched. I need some kind of proof that Raban wanted to get your father out of the way. See you for now. Bye. No, že Judy má nějaký systém, ve kterém dokáže zjistit všechno o všech. Ale nevěří, že by to byl ten Raban. A chce nějaký důkaz. OK, takže... Honestly. Krásné knížky, krásná kitka a jedem teda do kanceláře, kde bude potřeba zjistit, co se stalo, že samozřejmě. I'm sorry, father. I wish I'd been a better son to you when you were alive. I promise. I will find out who did this to you. I will. Jasně. The police already went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there. I love the smell of antique wood. Peroxide in his work office? That's unusual. I'll take it, nevertheless. It's empty. Electra, bright and rigid. Animal. 
Op. První hádanka. Podle velikosti. Ne? To se ještě dozvím určitě. Hmm, let me see. An old phone book. I'll take it. Never know who I may need to call. The old phone book is enough. The old. I don't need that. No time to relax. I love the smell of antique wood. I love the. Takže vám peroxid a telefonní seznam, jo? To je vše. An old phone book. Hydrogen. What a beautiful view of the garden. Autumn is fine. Takže knížky, jo? A, B, 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 B. Dvakrát to samo, nebo musím jít do nestrany. Nos. To by budalo nějakou materii, to všem. Ještě doma možná se něco změnilo. Nejšt. No tak v tom případě bych asi jel takový hudy. S tím seznamem. She won't help me, if she doesn't believe me. I need to somehow prove that Rubain was behind my father's death. Dobře, tak to bude něco tady určitě. I love. Stůl nic, nic, nic. To bude to je to nic. The old. Tak je to fakt v těch knížkách tady. Elektra, Cartier, Imbirai. What is that? Mala tajna schránka. It's a sealed document. Why did father hide it like this? I don't need to push those books around anymore. I already found the secret compartment. An envelope I found in father's office. I should open it carefully. These documents appear to be some kind of policy agenda. Let me see. Wow, this is huge. These documents detail my father's proposals for a wide array of new social programs. He called it Project Cosmo. He wanted to reinvest in the city's educational system with major building renovations and a new vocational school downtown. He had a plan to fight homelessness too. The city would build new shelters and partner with drug rehabilitation centers on a new work training program. He was going to raise the minimum wage and create a system that would offer health care to all city residents. It's ambitious to say the least. But how would he pay for it? Hmm. Apparently Project Cosmo also included an anti-corruption initiative. My father had located hundreds of millions of dollars in misused funds. This was money that was flowing to organized crime syndicates and, of course, 
right into the pockets of Edward Raban and his political cronies. This document identifies at least two dozen politicians from both parties who were stealing money from the budget. Amazing. Raban must have found out about this and knew it would be the end of him. Could this be why he had my father killed? I wonder who else knows about this. I may be the only one. I should be careful with these documents. Those documents, in which he was a project in which he wanted to invest his father in big money, and these money would have been lost to the people of Raban and his band, who just threw them into the bag instead of building something for them. So we are going to go for Judy. And we are going to say that we have a problem. She won't help me. 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 I found a series of documents my father was hiding. They outlined an ambitious plan for the city's future. And trust me, this would have been the end of Raban's political career. What was in the documents? A series of social programs that would improve the city's schools, fight homelessness, raise the minimum wage, even offer health insurance to city residents. And all of it was going to be paid for by taking down the corrupt politicians who had been stealing from the city for decades. He named names, Judy. Most of them were Edward Roban's guys, too. He planned to go after Roban and his connections to organized crime. He was going to reform the whole city. Imagine the difference a man like that could have made. Huh, I guess I never knew that side of your father. I always assumed he was just like the rest of them. No, he was a great man. But I fear he made some powerful enemies. All right, Richard. Let's say for now that you're right about Raban. Maybe he did have something to do with your father's death. What's our next move? You need me to look into something? Yep, make them put up on believe me unless I can prove what my father wrote in these documents. Think you can help? Can you dig into Edward Raban's past a bit? Maybe we can find something that links him to the corruption my father talked about. Let me check. It's not going to be easy. Yep, like I thought. I can get you archived newspapers, police records going back a decade, maybe a few internal memos, but the good stuff is classified. Only one with access to the real Raban is Raban himself. So I'll break into his office. Nah. Huh. Yeah, security will definitely let the son of a dead political rival rummage through their office. Good idea. Well, it's the weekend, so the place should be empty. I know these rich government types. They don't work on their day off. How are you going to get in? You need an employee card. Hmm. Hold on. I might have something. <laughs> we used to call this the skeleton key. It's an access card like any of the government issued ones for employees, but it's got a chip so you can adapt to any sensor in the system. Opens every door in the city. You're kidding. We used it for investigations that required a little discretion. We got into buildings like Raban's all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Shouldn't you give it back to the police? Please. The pension isn't what it used to be. I took a few things for myself on the way out. Can I borrow it? Maybe. What do we say? Please. <laughs> Please and? Thank you. There you go. That's the Richard I remember. <laughs> See you from now. Bye. Oh. I better get to Raban's office as quickly and quietly as possible. Okay, so I can't open the elevator with my bare hands. Not yet. She'll notice me. I need to disguise myself. Just pushing buttons. No time. It's hot. I don't want to... I can't just talk to her. She may recognize me. I need a disguise. The access card Judy loaned me. If 
I start talking to her, she may recognize me. I need to disguise my... I cut my hair on my own once. It looked terrible. Patricia never let me live it down. Just pushing button. My pain. I don't want to pain. I can't just talk to her. She may recognize me. I need a disguise. I can't just talk to her. She may recognize me. I need a disguise. Pojďme se tady na ještě a ještě se podíváme domů po nějakém přestrojení. I don't want to change my... Do you have a moment? What is it? Is everything all right? I guess so. Všechno? No, I don't want to change my clothes right now. Ale jasně, že potřebuješ změnit oblečení, ty blbe. No, jak čím se mám přestrojit, jako? I wish... It's no. time to fap. I'll leave... I already... I already... I already... No, já bych se mám přestrojit, takhle něco. Rabans office, Judy, Flavers office. Tam byl jaký prdlačku jako? My clothes. Že by zase Judy? My clothes aren't expensive, but they are very comfortable. I have nothing to say to her. Honestly. Tak jako, kde se chceš přestrojit? Nerozumím. Co to chceš? Just pushing buttons alone won't help. I could use some coffee. All right. Oh boy. Man, that coffee is strong. I can't just talk to him. Well, that just is not coffee. I'm awake enough already. could wet the brush with that, but it wouldn't be of any use. Pouring hydrogen peroxide. I don't think... I don't think that's... I can't... I... What? Take one coffee. I'll take one coffee. If I start talking to her, she may recognize me. I already had... A pair of... Putting coffee on that won't help. Cut the brush hairs from my brush. Uh -huh. The Good hairs on. are very bristly. Very bristly. My clothes aren't ex. Does it make a Bristle. No, that. I want the. The hair. The, hair. the hairs are very bristly. Bristly. Dáme tam samé slova, které nikdo nezná. Bude se randa, to to bude těžší. The hairs are very bristly. The hairs are very bristly. Velmi štětíme na to. No tak proto je přece dáme do toho peroxidu. 
pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. I'd rather. Bristles. I want. I want the brush hairs to stick together, but liquid coffee won't work. Pouring hydrogen peroxide. A vending. I already had some. I don't think that's going to work. I can't just do that. That doesn't belong in the bathroom. I can't cook that. I only put groceries in the fridge. What should I do with this? What? A handful of pocket hair? Gross. Keep that to yourself. Do you have... I don't want to put that. I don't want to put that. That doesn't belong. I can't. I can't. I only. Tak zas Judy, nebo já nevím. Kde jsem něco zapomněl? Co, pomož mi svou samou. What should I do with this? Is that hair? I don't want to know where you got that. Duck. No way. My clothes aren't expensive. Honestly. Honestly. Tak dobré. Tak jedině tady ještě něco. There's enough on. There's enough. There's. I'd rather. I'd. I don't. Th <laughs> Nothing else. No. I'll leave that there. I don't need anything in there. Co on za spodní vrát, tak nezdržuje. To je u studia teda. To je u studia teda. Tak co se dá ještě udělat s dvěma stěma? Bristles. The hairs are very bristly. No need to heat that. It's hot. The heat has completely dried the coffee. The only thing left is a sticky, sugary residue. Takže vypařila se káva a zůstal takový. A teď uděláme čupr z vlasy. Voila. Voila. Ok, so... Hello, I'm Jorge. I'm glad there aren't any mirrors around here. Good evening, ma'am. Evening? I'm here for a meeting. 
Could you please show me your employee card? Oh, of course. You need my card? You're all good. Wait a minute. What is it? I know you. You... You do? You're that famous painter. Uh. I... Well... <laughs> oh my god, I forgot your name. What is it? Oh, I know. Salvador Dali. I've been to your gallery. It was years ago, though. Such beautiful paintings you have there. Uh, yes. yes thank you. Thank you. I I'm sorry to waste your time, Mr. Dolly. You must have something very important to do upstairs. <laughs> yes, so. a very important meeting. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Mr. Dolly. Super, tschüss. Yeah, du. Z otevřeného výtahu. Hi Richard, what's up? Hey Judy, I made it past the receptionist and I'm in the elevator. <laughs> I had to disguise myself. I'll tell you later. So where's the office? Let's see. Should be on the top floor. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Good luck. I'll try to cut off the electricity. Hopefully that will disconnect the door security lock. Oops. Looks like I turned off the electricity for the whole floor. I better act fast before someone comes. Okay. This thing doesn't read fingerprints. I need a car. The scanner isn't working because of the bolt. It worked. The door is open. To je teda bezpečnostní systém. Že vedle dveří dám elektřinu a když tam v, te, v tom vypnu pojistky, tak je po všem. Jako jo. I'll just leave it there. To nechám. Já zajímám určitě stůl. Počítač. Počítač. No, nope. I need the password. There's no way I'll be able to crack it. I would take it with me to have Judy check it out, but it's fastened to the table. Musí to najít. Kde stůl, ne? Urban's phone will really help me. Maybe she can track some of his calls. I'll leave that. Nice view. I don't want to destroy that. Wow, what a view. It makes you think. The kind hearted, honest people of this world live in shacks. All the light. I'm glad I never started a career in politics. Nope, I need the password. There's no way I'll be able to. Okay, nothing useful. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Okay, started this little house design. Yeah, that's why I got so pretty cool. Work documents, project folders, budgets. Nothing useful for me. Teďka jako ještě je první a druhý šuplík. Work doc. Tam je druhý. Work. Ne, ne, ne. Tak to ještě stojí. A tady šuplíky asi už nemám. Střílím nic. No, OK, takže mám telefon a běžím zpátky k Judy, jo? S telefonem. The phone might be all I need. I should leave before someone finds out I'm here. My job here is done. Better get out quickly before someone shows up. I'm telling you, that guy's out of his mind. I hear you, buddy, but you can't argue with the money. Oh no, someone is coming. 
Come touch, come touch, come touch. I don't understand why anyone would want to work here voluntarily. Beats me. If I didn't have a mountain of debt, I'd quit this madhouse tonight. And I'd be right behind you. How's the consulting business been lately? I don't want to talk about it. This year's been a disaster. I haven't had a chance to refocus since that nightmare you and I went through. I still can't believe it really happened. I think about it every day. It was horrible. But on the other hand, Old Elmstad is finally dead. Maybe it was worth it. Hi, Slova. As long as we don't have to deal with them again. I hope I never see those. Shh! Keep it down. They might be listening. Yeah, yeah. Just turn the lights back on and let's go get a drink. Ada to na drink, jo? Parádička. Takže vy, hi, Slova, vy jste tady. That was close. Well, now I know for sure that Raban had something to do with my father's death. But who are they talking about? I shouldn't stick around to find out, though. I need to get out of here. Vlastně nevím. Na těch pět metrů. Proto bylo možné se tady předtím přestrojit. Takže Judy. Hello Judy. Here you have a phone. Judy má iPhonea a já furt tlačím tady telefon. All I could find was his phone. That might be enough. Let's check it out. Tak, co máme? Okay, show me something good, baby. Show me something good. Hmm. Looks like he only used this phone to call his family. Maybe a few people from the office, nothing out of the ordinary. So it's useless? Maybe he has a second phone. Doubtful. He's got anti-scan on this one and that's illegal. He wouldn't risk putting that on a second device. Anti-scan? Aren't you scanning it now? Because I have the physical phone. You can't scan him wirelessly. I see. Sorry, buddy. I can take a closer look, but I doubt there's anything deeper than what's for dinner calls. Okay. Well, give it back to me then. No, tak mám aspoň nový telefon. I shouldn't make any calls from Ravan's phone. It's already risky just having it in my pocket. I shouldn't make any calls from Ravan's phone. It's already risky just having it in my pocket. No, to mám jako vrátit. I don't want Patricia to know I stole that. Hmm. I don't want it. Nothing else. You. Tak teď to rozbil kladivem. Muškama. A pair of. No. I don't think. Comparing my cell phone with Raban's is like comparing medieval no. and modern technology. I shouldn't make any calls from Raban's phone. It's already risky just having it in my pocket. What a mess. The smart the smartphone I borrowed from Raban's office. I hope I can't just do there's a there's a I don't think that. What can I say? An old phone. An old. I don't need to call anyone from the phone book right now. I don't need to call anyone. I don't. I don't. I don't. I can't just. The accent. Why would I? All right. Judy to bude chvíli trvat, tak to se dělá to. Já nemám ho vlastně vrátit až tady zničený. Tak co mi ještě povíš? Hi. 
you're back. What can I do for you? Nothing to call you. I heard a strange conversation between you two men outside the van's office. They said they were glad my father is dead because they were afraid of them. Any thoughts on who they are? Could be anybody. Unless... No. That would be insane. Uh, what? Uh, Tell me. There was a string of cases not unlike your father's murder back in the 80s. Within a year, we had four or five killings, all of them suspiciously similar. It was a big deal back then. The whole force was on it. We learned about it at the academy. Everybody had a different theory, but there was one I found particularly convincing. Which is? Some say there's an underground organization in the city. They mostly lay low. Some drug money here, blackmail money there. But when push comes to shove, they take care of those who oppose them. You're talking about an organized crime syndicate? Some kind of secret mafia? Very secret. The papers ran stuff on it at the time. You can find it easily enough in the library. Thanks, Judy. I'll look into it. Anytime. Library. Okay. Where do you think I should look next? Honestly, I don't know. There's nothing here you can call evidence. And the few clues you have lead to a dead end. But if you really think your father's death might be connected to those old murders, go to the library. Read more there. Good idea. What else can you tell me about that? Not much. I learned about those murders from a textbook. And keep in mind, the existence of a secret society is just a conspiracy theory. Nothing more. But you said you thought the theory was... It would explain a lot. But that's not the same as having evidence to prove it's true. Haven't the police ever looked into it? Sure. Investigating organized crime is an ongoing effort in the city. Hell, the CIA even stepped in after that string of murders. Mm -hmm. And they found... But what... Richard, do you believe aliens... No. Why? There's no proof that... Exactly. Thousands of people investigate alien life, and a handful of crazies even say they've met them. But no undeniable proof. Same thing here. If you say so. So maybe it wasn't Raban at all. Or maybe Raban is under the control of these people. I need to find out more about this. I should go. See you around. Takže to vypadá, že to je napojené na nějakou organizaci. Starý děda. Tady možná ještě dáme pauzičku malou.